Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about function calling and how it is different than the normal LLM interaction. So in the above example you can see like we have a prompt called provide use and manufacturer of Dolo 650. It's a medicine name. It's very popular in India. So the expectation or um, the expectation from the large language model is that Dolo 650 is a pain relief medicine uh, made by Cipla Limited and used for pain reduced fever, right? When we see the function calling, we see that we have a module called function. So we are providing the same prompt um, saying that provide use and manufacturer of Dolo 650, but now it is going through the function module and it is interacting with the large language model right and the output which we are getting is medicine name it's kind of a json where the first element is medicine name is dolo 650 then use is pain relief and fever reducer manufacturer is cipla limited so the normal large language interaction and the function calling is little bit different why because in the function calling we get the output in a certain format and that's why function calling is getting so much popular right because we are getting information in a particular format right and because of this we can use this for many downstream tasks we can use um, this in many kind of use cases where we can use the large language model capability through the method calling or function calling right so let's quickly see the use cases so i'm going to show you two ways of doing function calling in first way as you can see in the screen i have a jupyter notebook open and we have the required import statements and we have llm so as you guys might have seen my previous videos i use lm studio and in lm studio as you can see i have a local inference server running and we have open hums 2.5 mistral 7b bit 4 km gguf so this server is basically running on server port 1234 so we are going to use this large language model and this is the json schema which will make sure that we get the output in this particular format of json where we have medicine name, name of the medicine, use, and manufacturer information, right? And we are going to create a medicine payload. So in the medicine payload, we have model, um, loaded model, as the loaded model is the model which we are going to load here from LM Studio. It could be anything. So right now it is the Mr. 7B, but we have other options installed here. For example, Tiny Llama is also available. Fee 2 is also available. But right now for this example, we will stick with the Mr. 7B. Role will be system. Content is you are a helpful AI assistant. The user will enter a medicine name and the assistant will return the medicine name, user and manufacturer and we have provided few extra prompt here so as you can see output should be in json so we are we are explicitly saying that the output should be in json using the schema defined here so um, as i showed you the json schema we are going to pass it here so that it follows that particular json schema right and here we are going to pass role equals to user and then again content what is the use and manufacturer of the medicine with name so here we are going to pass the medicine name so it could be so in this example it is dolo 650 and we are uh, doing a request dot post with the medicine payload and we are going to get the outputs like this right so where medicine name dolo 650 uses pain relief and fever reducer manufacturer is cipla limited so uh, this is basically one way of doing a function calling so in this way of doing function calling the problem is that in certain function calls 
the output of the LLM will not be the proper JSON and you might see a you know JSON decode error. To avoid it, we are going to see an advanced way of doing a function calling. This is more of an advanced way of doing function calling and uh, this function calling is better than the previous one which I have showed using the JSON schema. The reason is that uh, this uses the Pydentic um, and instructor packages which make sure that um, the return type is always maintaining the format which you are providing in the JSON. So we are using medicine info class which we have created so because the use case is about the medicine so we have named the class as medicine info and then we are providing the base model we are providing the elements of the json so right now we are expecting use of the medicine and the manufacture of the medicine we are giving the description of it use of the medicine and description for the manufacturer is the name of the medicine manufacturer right and then we are creating a client variable and in the client variable we are passing the open ai information so as i said in the previous um, function calling we are using the lm studio uh, where we have the local inference server running we are going to use that large language model which is mistral 7b and again um, the mode is instructor.mode.json so that we get the json output um, similar to the previous example we are also going to provide the medicine name as dolo 650 and in this example as we can see we are not going to provide a lot of um, prompts here we are going to provide only a single prompt where we are going to give role as user and content as return the use and manufacture of the medicine with name. So medicine name will be Dolo650. Let's quickly run this and see how we get the output. if we go to the lm studio we can see like um, it has already started generating the output and if we go back to the jupyter notebook and we can see that medicine info use is pain relief manufacturer is cadilla healthcare right so So as we can see that we have got the response object and with the response object if we um, use the variable name as use and the variable name as manufacturer we get the information right uh, for the pain relief and from the manufacturer of GlaxoSmithKind. So again the manufacturer could be different one um, so sometime you get the Cipla, sometime you get Ranbaxy, sometime you get the GlaxoSmithKind. It all depends because we know that uh, that Dolo 650 has been manufactured by different different manufacturers. So um, this is the advanced way of doing function calling, which maintains the format each and every time you call this function. And uh, yeah, so I hope you have learned something. I hope um, uh, this uh, use case, this example, might help you understand what is function calling.